Hello friends, I hope you all are doing well. This video is the fourth lecture of my 14 days beginners to advanced level pivot table course. If you have missed the previous lectures, link of playlist is available in the description section of this video. You can navigate through it and watch the video of your choice. So far we have learned about creating basic pivot tables and pivot charts. But it is not always necessary that you get to work with the clean data. Sometimes you have to deal with the messy information like the one I have in this video. So in today's video, we are going to walk through all the processes that are required to clean your data before feeding the information into the pivot table. So let's begin with the cleaning part. In this data, I have information about countries, products, discounts, units sold, and the revenue generated by selling these products to these countries. So now you can see at first glance that I have some empty cells and then I have some empty rows. And if you look closely at the country section, then you can find that many of the countries have issues with the formatting. So let's begin with removing the empty cells. Here you can find that most of my cells are empty in the discount section. So let's fill them first with zero. Select the column by clicking on it. Then press Ctrl H. Here replace the field find what with empty space. You do not need to create any space here. And then go to replace with and type zero here. Select replace all. Press OK and close the dialog box. Here you can see that all the empty cells have been filled with zeros. Now our next task is to remove the empty rows from our data. For that purpose, select all the columns in your data, then press Ctrl and G. Here you will find the option of special. Go to special and select blanks from options and press OK. Now you can see that all the empty rows in the data have been highlighted. Then go to home and in the home tab you will find the option of delete. Click on it and here you will find the option delete sheet rows. Click on it and here you can see that all the empty rows have been deleted from your data. And now we are not seeing any empty cell or empty row in data. So far, so good. Let's begin with correcting our country's information. Here, I am seeing some issues with my country names. You can see the name Iran is misspelled here. Similarly, for USA, it is appearing as a full name at some places and as an abbreviation in the other places. We are going to select the column A and let's first replace United States of America with a simple USA. Press Ctrl H and in find what right of America and replace it with USA and hit replace all. Okay. And in a similar way, we can replace small USA with capital USA as well and hit select all. Now our USA issues have been resolved. The next thing is to correct the spellings. Close the dialog box and go to review tab. And in review tab, you will find the option of spellings. Click on it and here you can see it has already pointed out my first mistake. So I am going with it and I am going to select change. And then it is identifying my other issues of Malaysia. So I am again going with one of the suggested options, select change. Spelling checker is not finding any more mistakes in my data. So it is good to go. Press OK. And here you can see that our country names have been formatted. What if we have some font issues in our data? For now, they are not existing, but let's create some. For example, I am going to capitalize Indonesia and then let's amend it in a wrong way. Let's make it more complex by creating some spaces. I am going to insert some space here. So I am trying to make it a bit more messy so that we can see 
what we can do to correct those issues. So now we have some country names with non-uniform fonts and then we have some country names with some indentations. How can we deal with it? For that purpose, you need a helping column. I am going to make a helping column here by inserting a new column. We are going to use two types of formulas. If you use proper, let me type proper here. You will see that it basically capitalizes the first letter of your data and replaces the other ones with small fonts. Press enter and here you can see that it has changed the first letter of your country name with capital font and it has replaced all the other letters with small fonts. So this is how the proper function works. But we need to remove these spaces as well. So instead of using the proper function and the other function one by one, I am going to use them in combination. Let me tell you the other function that I am going to use is trim function. Let's try it on one country. Type in trim, click on the country name, close the bracket, press enter and here you can see that it has removed all the spaces that are existing before the country name. Okay. So trim is basically your extra space remover and proper is basically your font correcting function. So let's use them together. Here I am going to type proper and then I am going to type trim within it and then give the reference of the cell. Close the double brackets, press enter and here we are with the desired information. Okay, this is good to go, I guess. In order to remove the formulas behind these names, you have to select the text field cells in column B. Press Ctrl Shift and down arrow. Then press Ctrl C and then press Ctrl Alt V to paste them as values. Select values from the options and press OK. So here you can see the formulas behind these names have been removed. Delete your original column because it is not needed anymore. Now our next task is to check type. For example, I want countries and products in text format. Then I want discount and revenue in accounting or currency formats. And lastly, I want unit source in the form of number format. So let's begin with all the columns one by one. Select column A, go to home. And here you will find the option of formats. Okay, click on it. And instead of journal, I am going to select text from here because I want this information in the text format. Go to column B and click on this number format dialog box. And from here, select text again. For the discount, I want to convert it into accounting format. So I am going to choose accounting from here. Unit source is basically the number of products that have been sold to these countries. So I want it as a number. So I am going to select number from the available options. But here you can see that as soon as I hit number, I am seeing some decimal points here. If you want to keep them, you can go with this. But if you want to remove them, you will find the decimal correction options here. If you click on decrease decimal, you will see that your decimal points are removing. And if you click on increase decimal, then you will see your decimal points are increasing. So it's up to you that how you want to format it. I don't want decimals, so I am going to use decrease decimal option. Now, revenue is basically your currency. So I am going to convert it into accounting format. Here you can see that the currency format is automatically the US dollars. If you want to change it, you can go here in the dollar sign, click on the triangle and here you will find different options for currencies. If you want to convert it into euro, you can click on it. But I want to retain it in the dollar format. This is how you can clean and format all your information before feeding that information into pivot table. Here I overlooked the column B and I am seeing that it also needs some formatting. So let's quickly do that. 
this is our products column so instead of inserting a helping column here i am going to use this column g for that let's type proper function here give the reference of the cell close the bracket press enter and here we are with the properly formatted names now let's just copy this column values click on any text with cell press ctrl shift down arrow key press ctrl c go to your main column and press ctrl alt v choose values press ok and here we are with the replaced values now it also contains some spelling issues like this the code is wrong here so i don't know how many misspelled products are here so instead of manually correcting it i am going to use the review tab again select the column go to review here select the spelling and we are key is right so i am going to ignore it then cause spelling so i am going to choose from one of the suggested options and then let's press okay and here we are with our corrected information now our next task is to generate a pivot table from this information but before that we need to convert it into an excel table so place your cursor on any text field cell press control t here you are supposed to check my table has headers if they are existing and if your table has no headers then you can simply uncheck this option now press okay let's insert pivot table from this table press your cursor on any text field cell press control a go to insert select pivot table option from here uncheck this option add this data to the data model and press ok so here we are with our pivot table navigation sheet now let's say we want to see some of the revenue generated then bring it here in value section and let's bring products in the raw section and here we can see that how much contribution each product has to generate our revenue if you want to see it in the form of percentage you can click on any text field cell right click on it and here you will find the option of show values as you can select percentage of grand total from here to see the contribution of different products in revenue generation now let's say we want to see these results for different countries in today's video i am not going to generate separate report for each country instead i am going to focus on how you can use the header fields that are existing in your filter sections so i am dragging countries in my filter sections and here you can see that countries are appearing at the top if you want to switch back this information to the number format you can again do that by right clicking on it go on show values as and just choose no calculation now let's see how these filters can help us to simplify our analysis let's click on the triangle and here i am going to select canada press okay and here you can see the revenue that has been generated by canada if i want to apply filters on multiple countries then you can simply select this option select multiple items click on it to check it and from here you can select different countries to see their results collectively i am seeing the revenue generated by three different countries so our today's video was more about training of the data and how we can use different formulas and different tools in excel to clean our data before feeding the information into the pivot table if you like the today's video then don't forget to hit like if you are new to pivot tables and don't know that how you can generate and format pivot tables then don't forget to visit the pivot table playlist this is all for today thank you for your time stay blessed have a good day